Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome uh, to Trains Are Fun. And in this video, we're going to be unboxing a package from Train World that we purchased. Uh, because of this guy that sent this note to Brickzar, he says, I know you like Lego compatible train options. I came across this in a brochure in a model store featuring a 14 stud, 14 stud wide base. Keep up the content, Cheshire's. And it was, he sent me this catalog. It had a picture of something Lego compatible. This is going to be similar, so uh, just spoiler, spoiler, spoiler alert, uh, thumbnail alert, spoiler probably. All right, so this this box is a lot bigger than I expected. Though. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I talk about this on my uh, Lego channel all the time. How I'm always getting stuff that's all smashed up from Lego, but. I seem to never, it seems to never happen with Train World. It's called uh, Pride in Your Work. So that is, man, the glare. Pico, a Pico. <laughs> so the box is like, pretend like there would be something there. I mean, it's overkill uh, <laughs> with the box. So this is a G scale. And. Oh, I, I, in G scale, I love G scale. It's just so big. It takes up so much space. I have to be choosy about what I get. Uh, but when he sent me the thing, I said, okay, I, I need to get this. So it's orange. It's not the gray. I would have preferred red or blue. Uh, but orange, we'll, we'll deal with orange. So let me get some of this stuff off the table. I would probably go broke uh, collecting G scale stuff. If I got everything I wanted. So this is the Clem Bostain wagon. Wait a minute. How do you open this thing? Oh, it's, it's you got this thing here. So I think I got to do this one on this side here as well. I've not opened a new Pico box. Is it Pico? Pico? Um, Pico Farad? I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, this is... It's a big box for just this little <laughs> flat car, basically. And very interesting that they packed it this way. All right, there we go. So he said it was 14 wide, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And I don't know how many long it is. I don't feel like counting. If my math is right, it's a 30... Oh, I already forgot. Is it 36 or 38? <laughs> I counted it and then I immediately forgot what I counted. Oh, but there you go. Now, it's a little bare without having anything on it. So let's put something on it. It is actually a little too small, I think, for the uh, tipper. Like if I put uh, the bricks on either side of it, it's too, it's too long. It's too wide. The tipper... Tipper truck is two pieces too wide. Man. <laughs> it won't fit. There's no way. It's too, yeah. Definitely too wide. <laughs> or not wide. The flat car is not long enough. It needed to be about, I don't know, about 10 studs longer, I think. That's a pretty sad car I just made, isn't it? So if I, if I was to make something for this car, with it being this odd orange color, what would it be? Box cars are always easy. Orange. It'd be like a work train. That's the, When I see orange, I, I usually think of like work trains. <laughs> uh, but uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And hopefully I'll do something G-Scale related uh, with the trains actually running. Uh, I know I haven't done that in a while, and we got a lot of things that we haven't actually ran at all, ever. So I need to, to do that. And I tend to get these things and then not build anything. So uh, give me some ideas, and I'm lazy. I'll see you in the next video. Trains are fun.